Hi, welcome to Think Junos, episode two of the tips and tricks. Today we're going to be configuring NAT on an SRX firewall. The specific example I'm going to use is how to configure NAT on your firewall to be able to have your Xbox connect to Xbox Live. Uh, this will not work by default. Uh, the SRX does not support uh, universal plug and play. The Xbox uses universal plug and play to dynamically set up the NAT mappings on your firewall so you don't have to think about it. Uh, but because Junos and Juniper is an enterprise grade equipment, uh, it does not support universal plug and play today. Uh, so you'll have to do this manually. So let me show you how. First thing we're going to do is we'll jump into the edit security NAT. This is the subsection you'll be doing your work out of. And inside here I'll show you there's no configuration right now. So the first thing we want to do is you edit the source. So once we're in source, now we're in the source subsection. First thing you need to do is set the pool. And when you do set pool, you're going to do set pool name, and I'm just going to call it WAN IP. Now this is going to be the address that the source NAT is going to take once it's translated for outbound. So when it's going to translate your internal network to your external network, this is the IP that it's going to source from. So in this case, you have to do it as a range, but it's only going to use the first IP you use in this range. So you would put here in your setup, you would put your public IP that's assigned to you by your provider. In this example, I'm just going to use a, a random IP. So that sets the source pool. The next thing you have to do is set the pool to be no port translation. So we want to basically set it up so it does not do dynamic port translation as the outbound sessions are flowing. It keeps the port that we define it to. All right, so now we have our source pool set up. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our rule. So we're going to do a set a, uh, a rule set. And this is going to be trust to untrust. So this is the flow of the traffic moving from the trust zone to the untrust zone. Uh, so we'll do set trust to untrust. And this is going to say from zone trust. And I'll do up arrow, back that off again. Go back to from, and then to zone untrust. All right, so now we just have a rule set. We know the flow of the traffic, what it's going to match there. Next thing we need to do is define this rule set, the actual IPs we want it to match. So I'm going to edit the rule set, trust, untrust, I'm in inside there. So now I can reduce the amount of commands I use uh, when I type it in because I'm now working in that subsection. Next I want to do is set the rule and this rule is going to say the source NAT rule. So I'm going to say, this is the whatever name you want to call it. And the source NAT rule is going to say match source address anything. So I don't care what the source is internally to match. Set rule, source NAT rule. Uh, whatever I match there, the next thing I'm going to do is say then source NAT it. And the source NAT method we're going to use here is interface. So this means source NAT it via the egress interface. Okay, so we have one rule that says match any IP address moving from the trust to the untrust and just do source NAT interface. Okay, that's the default NATing for outbound traffic. The next thing we want to do is, is we're going to do a set of rule. And this rule I'm going to call Xbox out. And Xbox out is going to match specifically the IP address of my Xbox. So you'll have to go in and statically map the IP on your Xbox. And then you go in here and you'll do a specific source address of the Xbox. So there's any traffic matches this. Then what we're going to say is you're going to say source NAT again, but this time you're going to use the pool. So you're going to say pool WAN IP. So what this means is when we match traffic sourcing from the Xbox headed to the external network, source NAT it as the WAN IP pool. Okay, so let me go up a layer here and show you. This is what we have set up now for source NATing. Okay, 
Now we needed to configure our destination NAT because really all we've done is we've said anything moving from inside to outside, uh, match it and then NAT it based on the interface. So we're just doing a pure interface translation. And then anything matching Xbox traffic headed outbound, we're going to match it against the pool WAN IP. All right. So next thing you want to do is you want to edit your destination. So this is traffic flowing inbound from Xbox Live into your Xbox. And this is where you need to configure these ports to allow them into the, into the uh, Xbox device. So now we're going to move into edit destination. And the first thing we're going to do here is set the destination pool, which would be the Xbox. Right, so set uh, pool, and we'll just say Xbox, and the address, and 10.0.1.50 is my Xbox, slash 32. Uh, so now we have the pool defined as the actual IP of the Xbox. Now we're going to set our rules up. So we'll do set, uh, rule set, and I'm just going to call this uh, DNAT in, for lack of a better term. And this, again, is where we're saying where the traffic is flowing from. So we're going to say from this time zone untrust, because this is destination at. This is coming inbound to, the, to our uh, internal network. Two zone. Actually, you don't need two zone. Excuse me. Um, so this is inbound from the external network. So now we can start setting our rules up. So let me just show you what we have so far. We've got the pool IP, and now we've got a single rule set called destination add in, and this is just saying from zone untrust. You don't have to say to zone because it's obviously coming into the trusted zone here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set the rule. Actually, we'll do edit rule set dnat in. That puts us in the subsection, reduces the amount of typing we have to do, and now we can start setting the rules. So we'll do set rule, and I'll call this Xbox One. Um, or better yet, probably 88, because this is going to be the first port we're going to use, so Xbox 88. And we'll say match destination address. Now, this is where you need to go back to your, your what you're putting in the source. This is actually going to be your external IP. So this is saying uh, when you hit, when an address is destined for your external IP, uh, that's when we're going to uh, define it, examine it, and then if it matches the criteria, we're going to allow it through and, and destination added inbound traffic. Okay, So this is where we go back to using this IP. This was our external IP in this example, 10.10.10.1 10, 10, 10 32. And then we're also going to say, uh, next thing we need to do here besides address, we'll say destination port 88. And then if we matches those two criteria, the dot one slash 32 and then port 88 we're going to then destination nat the pool we set up so the pool we set up was xbox right so we'll say pool xbox so let me show you what we have so we're saying rule 88 rule xbox 88 saying port 88 match that ip address external ip on the interface with the destination port of 88 we're going to denat it, destination nat it, inbound to the Xbox internal IP, which was 10.0.1.50. Okay. Now, that's pretty much all you have to do at this point. You have to repeat this process a couple times um, with all the ports required. So I'm just going to go through and do it uh, without explaining every single thing I'm doing. But the next couple rules, you have to do four rules for Xbox. Uh, there's four different ports you have to open up. Uh, it's the same command all four times. So this is a bit of a stir and repeat, but I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So. This is going to be port 3074. Again, we're matching the destination address of 10.10.10.1 slash 32. Make sure you have that slash 32 in there. We're, we're defining a specific host. Up arrow, delete a little bit of this port 3074. Up arrow again, delete this. Then destination NAT pool Xbox. So, same thing I just did, just new port number. Set rule Xbox 
Next port you need is going to be port 53. So this is DNS. Match destination address 10.10.10.1 slash 32. Now another way you could do this is if you had your address book set up. Uh, you could also set that so you had your address book and just use a variable there. But for this example, I just wanted to show you with it uh, longhand. And you'll set that. And then the next thing you want to do uh, the, here is the then. Um, destination that pool Xbox. And the last port you need, uh, set rule Xbox, it will be 1863. And then we'll do set rule, Xbox 1863, match destination port 1863. Set rule, Xbox 1863, then destination NAT pool Xbox. And that is it. So let me go up and I'll show you what we have here. So if we start at the top, we've set up our pool. That's the internal IP address of the Xbox. And then we have our DNAT rule in, so destination NAT inbound traffic coming from untrust. And we're going to match four different ports, port 88, 3074, 53, 1863. Those are the four ports we're matching, uh, UDP, TCP. And as long as they match, and then the external IP matches of 10.10.10.1, we will destination NAT this traffic inbound to the pool IP address of 10.0.1.50. And that is it. That is all you have to do to get this to work. Now, this is my live router, uh, so I'm not going to configure this because this was a uh, edit of my full NAT tables because I'm doing a bunch of destination NATs inbounds for different types of uh, services. But this is what you have to do. Those are the two components you need to do. So if I go up again, and we'll just show it one more time. Uh, scroll up here. You've got your source NAT traffic. So there's two components here, this first piece that I'm setting up is the pool IP. That's the external IP that I have on my SRX. I have a rule. This is my default NAT rule. This is saying matching any traffic inbound, just source NAT it via the interface. This is so I can browse the web and do everything I can do from my home network securely. And then I have this Xbox rule, and this is saying match the source address of 10.01.50, and then source NAT that out as the WAN IP. So that's for outbound traffic from the Xbox directly outbound. And then our destination pool, just like I said, you have your pool address. This defines your internal IP for your Xbox. And then you set your DNet rules based on what you want to match. So that is it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. Um, and if you have any questions, please email me. Thanks.